Hi friends, today I am with a new video. In this video, I am going to talk about the Sunbird messaging app. The highlight feature of the app is that you can do the iMessage through your Android smartphone. Yes, you have heard it right. The app has already created a lot of buzz in the world. So let's check out more detail on Sunbird messaging. The app is currently not pleasant in a Google Play Store. Whatever you are seeing is must be a fake. So don't download the fake app. The app is in the alpha state. We got the privilege to check it out a little bit earlier. And you have to fill the email ID, password and then confirm password. This is how you create an account. And it takes only 60 seconds to do that. And then you have an option to choose message to connect with the iMessage. Then you have to give your Apple ID. Apple ID password. Once it is done, it will send you an OTP. This will take less than five minutes. And once the OTP is there, be a little bit patient and you are connected, good to go. The best part is that it is secure and also private. So all the messages are end to end encrypted. They are secure and also confidential at the same time. You can send and receive message through iMessage for internationally also. It works on cellular data and Wi-Fi too. The company started this from uh, the year 2020 and in the year 2023, they have cracked that the process how to send an iMessage from an Android smartphone to an iPhone. I will again repeat the same thing that don't download any fake apps as the app is not available on Google Play Store and all the APKs what you will find on the internet are the fake one. This is an alpha app. So you will definitely see the beta app which is coming very soon which you can try and test. For that what you have to do, you have to stay in this video till last I will tell you what to do next. After selecting the iMessage, I will also connect the messaging app where I will choose the Sunbird messaging app as the default SMS app. Currently it supports iMessage, SMS and WhatsApp. In future updates, it will also support Telegram, Facebook Messenger and Signal apps too. But for that, you have to be little bit patient. So in a way, it is a unified messaging app where it lets you to reply all the different apps through one app only. Now currently, it is coming on Android platform, but the company is also trying for other platforms, but it will not come for iPhone very soon. So you have to be little bit patient on that side. Now going to the settings, here are, you can see if I tap on the triple dot, there are settings, bookmark messages, hidden chats and linked devices. So if I go to the settings, there is the account name through which it is connected. You can connect the SMS or MS, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger which is coming soon, the Telegram app which is coming soon and the Signal app. So these are the six platforms which will be available and you can access all of them with one app and you don't have to update the app separately. Now going back to the settings, there is edit V card. You can check it out the V card. There is also change theme. You can go to light theme or a dark theme. It is up to you. Currently I'm using the dark theme. So it is in the dark and there is a light theme also going back. I will show you that there is your name and photo. Currently it is not working. Contact photos, it, no, it is not working. So this is completely understandable as it is in the alpha stage. Then you are getting the contact photos, sent read receipts, read receipts. And there is also MMS messaging. There is show subject field. There is blocked contact. And even for the text message, how long you want to keep them. Audio message also has an expiry time. You can keep it for two minutes or more than that. It is completely up to you. For uploading the uncompressed and high resolution videos, it will be soon the feature will be added. There is also storage data and the storage data can be done on the local backup, which is showing currently. So if I go to the local backup here, you can see backup and restore. So that can be done very easily. You can have a set the date format, which can be automatically also for security. You have fingerprint reader. Uh, so if you switch it on, it will ask you to set up the pin first. Before that, it will ask you also the device pin. 
so enter that once it is done you can enter the pin code and then can access with the fingerprint reader it is very easy and you can do the setup in just few seconds now if we go to the home screen these are the few settings what we have seen but in the home screen i will show you few more things so in that you are getting on edit on the top where you can mark all as read and you can delete at the same time even you can do a voice search so now i will show you how it works this will be a live demo one side i am having a iphone on the left hand on the right hand i am using the sunbird messaging app if you are messaging for the first time just tap on the yellow button on the bottom then you can search the contact and even you have the both option to do the i message or the sms even you can message to multiple contacts too first it will ask you to add the v card if you not interested you can skip that so i sent a hey message in this you can see in the iphone first the notification pops in the bottom then later than the notification it shows so here you can see you can pause the video and check it there is i message written on the iphone so whatever we are sending right now it is a i message and even on the android phone you can see that there is a apple logo it is showing that it is sending an i message it will take some time so be little patient but the message are getting delivered that is a good point and when you are tapping on the message you get few options like copy bookmarks speak and more in more if you go you can delete and forward the message now i will type a text from iphone and send in the sunbird messaging app here you can see i have written hey and i will just receive it it will take very less time but you will receive it here you can see the exact time when i have received it is less than a minute but you will receive it so that is a good thing the i message is completely working for texting from the sunbird app to iphone it is working and also vice versa if you are sending from a iphone to a android phone on a sunbird messaging app you are getting a i message the app is in alpha stage so you may find a little bugs but still the best part is that you can send and receive messages on your android phone and it shows that it is a i message text so that is the great part it is trying to figure that out here you can see i am getting the messages on time it takes a few seconds but still i am receiving the message now I am putting reaction from my iPhone and I want to see that I am getting on Sunbird or not. So if you see that uh, for reaction here you can see I got the reaction so reactions are working I sent a heart and, but when I am trying from a Sunbird app the app can't send the reaction on my iPhone. So that is a minor glitch I guess that in the next update they will fix that too. So let me try that here also I am just trying to send another a reaction and let's see it comes or pop ups or not so here you can see the it pops on the sunbird messaging app on android we are getting the reactions as well from iphone when sent to the sunbird app if you look closely currently we are using the wifi data now i will switch to the mobile data and show you in mobile data also it is working completely fine so it is not restricted to only wifi data you can also use your sim data now i will give the demo of that also switching mobile data on both the smartphone and trying to send with the mobile data it will do the same thing it will take the same time so there is no difference it works on the mobile data so it is not restricted to wifi only even mobile data you can send that i message from the sunbird app to iphone uh, here you can see you have to wait a little bit but you are getting the text that is the best part and this is an alpha stage i will definitely try to remind you that they, you might get some bugs but still the app is working completely fine and the main purpose it is doing justice to that it can send and receive data even if you see i am putting a reaction on the mobile data time and it will show the reaction on this even if i change the reaction it will also change on the sunbird messaging app so the reaction is coming or we are receiving the reactions on the sunbird app on the top of the chat uh, message in you are getting a v card face time and you can schedule message i haven't tried those things those feature but rest of that even you can click a picture you can send an attachment so many more things are definitely are in the pipeline which you can see 
in the update when it is globally roll out to everyone you can also get the app when it is available in the beta stage so you have to go check out the description section where i have dropped the link where you can go and join the waiting list and you can enroll yourself in the wait list so that once the app is been rolled you can get the early access for that so this is was all about the sunbird messaging app where you get the blue bubbles on your android smartphone it is very easy it is end to end encrypted and it is very safe you don't need any apple device for it this was all about the sunbird messaging app this is vivin signing off please like the video share the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us